So we have a tool called FAST. And this is uh, using the words, uh, the word FAST to remember face, arm, speech, and time. These are the very classic symptoms of stroke that most of us um, hopefully will recognize. And how you actually utilize this tool is to look at a patient. If you're concerned, say you're at the store, somebody collapses around you, and you're the one that's there that may know, you ask, you know, Mrs. Smith or whoever you are, can you smile? Ask them to smile. Does one side of their face droop down or just not look the same as the other side? You ask them to raise both of their arms up, just straight out in front of them. Can they raise both of their arms? Can they maybe raise both of their arms and yet one of them starts to fall down? And then speech is ask them to say a simple sentence. You know, it's a sunny day today. Can you repeat this sentence? Can you say anything? Speech is interesting with stroke because it could be that Mrs. Smith could say the words, but they will be very slow and difficult to say. But they're the correct words. Or Mrs. Smith could be saying something totally back that are different words and make no sense. Or they could be unable to speak completely. So speech is interesting because you may have any of those manifestations, but anything that is abnormal in speech could potentially be a stroke. And then the T in the word fast is for time. And on here we have time to call 911. So don't hesitate to call 911 you know now that it's important to get a patient to the emergency, depart emergency department quickly. And also with time, I also like to tell people, please look at the clock. We on the other end don't know and need to know what time those symptoms happen. So please come in or share with the EMT people what time this person collapsed because the treatments that Dr. Lelenkoff shared um, with you and, and how we can actually save people from these symptoms are all very time dependent. And if we have to take time to call stores or find family members that can come in with their, their, with their loved ones, it's really delaying how, um, how uh, long it takes us to give these treatments. So T is also for please uh, note what time it is and make sure you share that with the people who are taking the patient to the hospital.